Hello, my goated fan base. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we get into the video, this is my new series where I just talk about my life stories. Anyways, let's get back into it. So I was coming back from school on my electric scooter like normal. Then there was this part of the sidewalk where it cuts over the road and you must A, wait for the cars on both sides to stop, then go, or B, there are no cars and you can just go. <clears throat> and then you pass the road to go on the other side where the sidewalk continues and I go to my house. Back to me where I was waiting for the cars to stop so I could go. The cars on my left stopped, then I looked to my right. I saw a green SUV, I think, I don't know. I saw it starting to slow down, so I assumed it was going to stop. So then I started to pass the road. I looked back to my right, and I saw the car was a good um, two feet away from me. <laughs> my brain finally realized that, oh crap, we are dead. <laughs> I panicked and the car hit the back of my scooter, but not me. It didn't hit me at all. If it, if I hadn't gone any faster, I think I would have died or had very serious injuries. Then he stopped and opened the door. Luckily, he did not hit and run. And this is where it, it gets good. <clears throat> he said... Hey, buddy, are you okay? In a worried tone, of course you would. I say, no, are you okay? And we go on that back and forth for a while, and I finally say, yes, I'm okay. Then he goes on and apologizes and, and repeats if I need any medical help or to call it my family, etc. I say, no, I'm okay, thank you, though. And he did not step out of the car. He did not make him seem like a threat. As if it, it were not my fault in any way. And over, and I think overall, he handled the situation very well. After that, I went home and later told my parents, of course. They told me to call them if this ever happens again. Very understandable. Then about two days later, I was going home again. Then I heard honking. I stopped and looked behind me. And I see him. I see the green car. He asked me to go over where he was. I go th back there and says, Hey, listen, bud. I did not mean to accelerate at you, and I'm sorry for what I did. And you told your parents about this, right? I said, of course. He said, okay, good. We should have gotten, like, the police involved or your parents involved in here and all of that. And he continued his apology from two days ago. And after that, he and I finished the convo and went back home. He did seem like a very good guy. I hope he's okay out there. We haven't talked since. This happened about, like, two weeks ago, by the way, so. And that's about it. That was the story of me almost dying. Hope you don't experience what happened to me. Ever. I'm serious. And I will see you in the next vid. Peace. Psst, this is one of my first times.